Mystery of the Dead Sea The Dead Sea is a mysterious place. Its name invokes one of our greatest mysteries, death, and for good reason. Its waters are almost 10 times as salty as the ocean, preventing any life in it. It's so salty that you can float without needing to swim. It is located at the south end of the Jordan River Valley. The Dead Sea is 1,400 feet below sea level, the lowest point on any of Earth's land masses. It's a valuable source of chemicals, including salt, potassium chloride, and asphalt. Because of the latter, it was known in the ancient world as Lake Asphaltis. Several ancient sources, including Pliny the Elder, recorded that a mysterious Jewish sect known as the Essenes lived near the Dead Sea. Welcome to Facts Insights. For more videos such as this one, please visit this channel for insights based solely on facts. Make sure to subscribe and give a like. Dead Sea History in Ancient Times During the Biblical period, different sects of Jews used to live in caves near the Dead Sea, most notably the Essenes, who left the impressive Dead Sea Scrolls in the caves of Qumran. Sodom and Gomorrah, the famous cities mentioned in the book of Genesis, are believed to have been on its southeastern shore. Ein Gedi, now a nature reserve near the Dead Sea, is mentioned in the Bible as the place where King David hid from Saul. The ancient history of the Dead Sea encompasses many of the Middle Eastern and Mediterranean peoples of the time. The Nabateens, for example, used to harvest the sea's natural asphalt, and in all probability, the Egyptians bought it from them. The Romans, too, referred to the Dead Sea as Palus Asphaltis, Asphalt Lake. But perhaps the best-known moment in Dead Sea history in ancient times was when a small group of Jewish zealots fled to Masada, a fortress built by King Herod the Great on a hill overlooking the Dead Sea. Following the destruction of the Second Temple in the year 70 AD. In 73 AD, they were sieged there by the Roman Ten Legion. And rather than surrender, they chose to die by mass suicide. During the Byzantine period, Greek Orthodox monks also came to this area for refuge. They built several monasteries in the vicinity of the Dead Sea. The St. George Monastery in Wadi Kelt is one of them. Dead Sea Discoveries in the Modern Era Prior to the 19th century, the Dead Sea was merely a mystery to the developing world, shrouded in references in the Bible, but unknown, unexplored, and uncharted. But then, several different explorers started uncovering its mysteries. The first known modern era explorer of the Dead Sea was a pioneering young Irishman named Christoph Castigian who had become interested in the Holy Land during his studies for the Catholic priesthood. He set off an expedition in 1835 having no navigational maps to guide him for the navigation of the Jordan River and Dead Sea, which postdated the Middle Ages. His eight days of scientific exploration on the Dead Sea, with a lack of fresh water and an absence of winds for sailing, caused Castigian to boil and drink the brackish water of the sea. Probably suffering from massive dehydration, he contracted a severe fever. His assistant left him on the northern shore of the Dead Sea and went seeking help to the nearby Greek Orthodox monastery of Dyer Hyjla. Taken for medical assistance by mule to Jerusalem, Castigian was dead on arrival and later buried on Mount Zion. Unfortunately, all of his notes and research were lost with his boat. Last but not least is a meaningful scientific discovery made in 2011. A group of Israeli and German scientists dived into the depths of the Dead Sea and discovered fissures in its floor, which allow the entrance of fresh and brackish water into it. After sampling biofilms surrounding the fissures, they discovered the seas to not be so dead after all. Many species of bacteria and archaea were found in them. Is the Dead Sea shrinking? Already half the length that was a century ago, experts believe that the Dead Sea is shrinking by an average of 3.3 feet per year. This is due to water from the Jordan River, the Dead Sea's only source of water, being diverted to be used as drinking water. In 2015, Israel and Jordan agreed to stabilize the water levels of the Dead Sea by building a canal between it and the Red Sea to the south. 
which would allow the two countries to pump 300 million cubic meters of water annually into the Dead Sea. So far, however, efforts to make this canal a reality have been stalled for political reasons. Another reason for its size decrease is the continuous extraction of its minerals for cosmetic use, as well as the hot, dry climate of the Middle East, which makes replenishing any body of water in the region almost impossible. What are the Dead Sea Scrolls? The Dead Sea Scrolls are manuscripts found in the caves, also known as the Qumran Caves, which are located in modern Israel. Based on the content of these scrolls, they have been divided into two classes, Biblical and Non-Biblical Texts. Biblical texts of the Dead Sea Scrolls contain fragments of prophecies by Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Daniel, along with important statements like the last words of Judah, Joseph, Levi, Naphtali, and Amram. Some of the texts included in these scrolls were written about 1,000 years before the Old Testament making it the oldest group of texts related to the Old Testament. Most of the things mentioned in these scrolls are not even found in the New Testament, adding to its mystery. They are believed to have been written somewhere between 150 BC and 68 AD. Most of these scrolls are written in Hebrew along with Aramaic, which was the common language of the Jews of Palestine in the earlier period. From right to left and mainly without any punctuation marks, Papyrus is the main writing base, although some scrolls are also written on parchment and one on copper as well. Mystery of the Dead Sea Scrolls The mystery of the scrolls of the Dead Sea is fascinating because of their content, their nature and place of discovery, and the fact as to how they withstood the effects of time over all these years. Since the discovery of the first set of the scrolls, there has been much debate about the hands behind the Dead Sea Scrolls among historians and archaeologists. The scholarly debates over these scrolls have resulted in many theories that suggested different narratives claiming the origin of the scrolls. However, through extensive research, a group of archaeologists had come close to their source of origin which places them with the Essenes, a breakaway Jewish sect who are believed to have hastily hidden them in these caves while fleeing the incoming Roman armies. Archaeologists propose that the scrolls appear to be the library of a Jewish sect and was hidden away in the caves. Following this hypothesis, theories including Qumran sectarian, Qumran Sadducean, Christian origin, and Jerusalem origin suggested narratives with significant changes to the Qumran Essene theory. However, some of the recent studies have suggested that the Dead Sea Scrolls had not originated at the shore of the Dead Sea, and in fact, those were written by multiple Jewish groups. A recent discovery announced this year proposed another narrative saying the scrolls found in the caves were stolen. The study conducted by the Israel and the U.S. archaeologists claimed that they had found 12th Dead Sea Scrolls cave and evidence such as a piece of parchment that was being processed for writing to suggest that the scrolls found were stolen ones. Other interesting facts about the Dead Sea Scrolls In addition to the fact that the Dead Sea Scrolls were an exciting archaeology discovery, many details related to the scrolls also have received the attention of both the scholars and others. Since the non-biblical writings in the scrolls are more concerned with laws and rules of that time and wartime, the content of the scrolls has been studied by scholars other than historians and archaeologists. The non-biblical writings also included mention to Thanksgiving psalms, liturgical text hymnic compositions and benedictions, among others. Among all the caves where they found these scrolls, only Caves 1 and 11 contained relatively intact manuscripts. Moreover, one of the most curious scrolls among those is the Copper Scroll, which was discovered from Cave 3. According to archaeological documents, this Copper Scroll has a guide to a hidden treasure on it. The ancient treasure map engraved on the scroll offers a list of 64 underground hiding places throughout the land of Israel and the longest scroll found with an overall length of about 28 feet was the Temple Scroll, which was discovered from Cave 11. In 1954, the Wall Street Journal had published an advertisement for the sale of four Dead Sea Scrolls. 
saying this would be an ideal gift to an educational or religious institution. Later, most of the scrolls were unpublished and were inaccessible till 1991, when the authorities granted general access to photographs of the scrolls. Since then, most of this text has been translated to reveal information, and it has crucially changed the way we perceive some major events of the world. However, many parts of these texts still remain incomprehensible. The secrets possessed in those words remain a mystery along with the fact that these vulnerable papyrus scrolls survived all these years. At present, these Dead Sea Scrolls can be found in the Shrine of the Books Museum in Jerusalem. Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.